Alright, so in this video we will make exactly what you saw in the demo. When you're in blocking mode, you take a hit, you lose energy, and when you're out of energy, well, you can't block. And you're going to need a certain minimum amount of energy. So let's go to our warrior blueprint. And what we need to do is, right now, I'm right here. So I need to check in my damage segment. Right before I subtract health, I want to put a branch. And I want to get a condition for blocking. So if I'm not blocking, I'm going to subtract health. However, if I am, I'm going to subtract energy. I can go get damage. And I can plug it into the energy. Well, sorry. I just spaced out for a second. We're actually going to go get energy. Sorry about that. And we're going to subtract damage. Uh, I thought I was thinking of two things at the same time and suddenly my mind went blank. So let's continue. So here you're going to subtract energy. But before you want to do that, you want to perform a check. You want to see if you have, if your amount of energy is greater than or equal to zero. Because if it is, you're going to continue subtracting energy. And if it's not, well, you're putting up your shield for nothing because you're going to get smacked in the face and lose health. I might as well just copy this twice because it's going to make a really long wire. Now, the other thing I want to see is here, blocking on. So my right click, chain, when it's released when it's pressed sorry it's gonna check it's gonna come down this wire down to greatsword mode and onto blocking before it reaches blocking I'm gonna put a branch and I'm gonna get energy and I'm gonna check if I have greater than zero if I do I can block if I can't well then I can't do anything so this is checking for our damage and let's test that out there I'm losing energy Now look, I'm going to keep blocking. Now I'm losing health. So I just don't have enough energy. And when I let go, it's not recharging my energy. So in, earlier, uh, in the earlier video, we actually didn't Im incorporate that because I wasn't too sure what we were going to do with this stuff. So, right click when I release it. I check my condition, am I blocking, true, am I in greatsword mode, no. Well, when this gets turned off, what else I'm going to do is I'm going to type in regen energy. So I can keep blocking, but I'm going to start getting hurt. In another, in another segment, what I can do is um, you should automatically exit that mode when your energy level reaches zero. So let me just check this out first to see if my energy recharges. Yep, it's going up slowly. So in the next segment, I'm going to automatically deactivate shield mode when we don't have enough energy. Alright, so now let's trigger blocking mode off automatically the moment we're out of energy. So what's going to happen is, going back to our event any damage, it's going to run down this chain, and up here, it's going to subtract energy from us. And continuing on, we're going to go check if energy is equal to zero. Right now this is for zero, right? But if you wanted, what you could do is, let's say energy is less than... 1. 
so you could try this too. And an another thing I forgot to incorporate is a clamp because you don't want to go into the negatives. So my max value was 150. And then again with energy, I'm just going to copy paste this here. So I don't have too many wires everywhere. I'm going to check if energy is uh, if it's equal to zero. If it is, then I'm going to turn off blocking. Because if I recall, this is the variable that puts us into the the uh, blocking animation in the whole state machine. So let's give this a shot. Just gonna let him beat me up. This may take some time. Because I think my armor is pretty high up. Oh, look at that. Check out our animation. So, we got out of the mode, but we still got this to fix. So in the next segment, let's troubleshoot it. So to continue on fixing the shield, here's all our damage thing. And we go to blocking off, and we need a custom event. And we can call it deactivate shield plug that in to this variable so in fact we don't need this blocking variable anymore we could just call in the custom event deactivate shield and just for testing what I'm gonna do is here when I subtract damage I'm gonna multiply the damage so I lose more energy I'm gonna put it to uh, 3. You could do whatever you want with this, but this is just for testing, so I'm gonna leave it at a pretty high value. Alright, we're back to normal mode, and look, our energy is slowly hitting. I'm gonna block again. Notice when I block my energy doesn't go up. There, he took me out of shield mode. So let's make an animation that's gonna play every time we get hit in shield mode. Now I did this earlier but my video crashed so I'm just gonna show you one small thing that you might need to do. So in Warrior Animation, you type in Impact. You make an animation montage out of this. And you place it in Anim Montage. So here's my shield impact. Now the other thing, it should be default slot here for you, but what you need to do is you need to go into your warriors folder, animation blueprint, make a new slot. In here, click on the magnifying glass and add slot and call it torso. So I did that right here. Next, you're going to drag out locomotion and type in Sa new save cache pose cache pose whatever I'm gonna call this locomotion cache and then I'm gonna call it by typing cache so I'm gonna copy and paste this twice I'll get this torso plug it in as the source and type in layered and get layered per blend layered blend per bone. Well, I can't speak. So I'm going to put these two in together and connect them to the slot node. In here, just keep going into the drop downs. So layer setup, zero, click on the plus, and just type in spine. Once we have that, let's go to our warrior blueprint. Oh, before we do that. In the shield impact, W underscore shield impact and a montage that I made, I'm going to set it to torso. That's the new uh, slot that I made. Now in warrior blueprint, 
I'm gonna make a new custom event. I'm gonna call it Shield DMG. So this is what happens when I take a hit. I'm gonna play animation montage. I'm gonna go get my shield impact and montage that I just made. I'm gonna connect these two in together. Then I'm gonna go into starter content, particles, and duplicate the P fist sprite. I already did so. And here, what I did is I went to initial color and put it to this purple. I'm just gonna boost it up a little bit. So when I'm guarding, I should have these blue sprites appear. Next, in Warrior Blueprint, I'm gonna spawn emitter at location, and I'm gonna go get my shield. There it is. I'm gonna get world location, plug it into location, connect these two together, and in here, I'm gonna type in shield and I have my shield hit particle. I'm gonna call this event here right when I'm about to subtract the energy so I'll call it shield DMG and my damage is still pretty high so I'm just gonna connect damage indirectly let's test it out so I'm just gonna run up to him So that the animation play and that blue flash. Now this is gonna play as long as he's hitting me and I'm in shield mode. But see, now I'm out of it. So that's the end of this segment. I don't know what else I could teach you guys with shield mode. But our layered animation and everything seems to be working fine. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.